Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation Lou. We're back in the video, guys. And today, guys, we're talking about how to move like a pro. The movement that the pros use to be as good as they are on Modern Warfare and how to get better in your movement. That's what we're talking about today. How you move like a pro. I'm pretty excited to talk about it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So everything in this video is basically what pros have talked about before, whether it's on stream or in videos or anything else. These are tips that pros talk about in Modern Warfare and in Call of Duty and how to get better with your movement and how to move in this game. So of course, it's important to take advantage of all of the movement mechanics in this game, whether that's sliding around corners, double sprinting, jump shotting, drop shotting, laying on the ground, whatever it is, you have to take advantage of all facets of movement just like pros do. So we're just gonna talk about a few different aspects of that movement, how pros use it, and then overall how you can improve to get better at it. So with that said, let's get into it. The first thing of course is sliding and how to use it specifically sliding around corners into gunfights is probably the best way to use it in this game. When you're coming around a corner, you can slide out around the corner and you can use it to pop people. It's a little bit different from Black Ops 4 because the slide canceling isn't nearly the same or nearly as good. The movement is still decently fast. It's a little clunky at times. It's a lot different than Black Ops 4. A lot of the things that you did in Black Ops 4 aren't going to work for Modern Warfare, and that's why it's so important to learn this type of stuff early on in the game. But when it comes to sliding around corners, the double sprint and then slide is a pretty good mechanic in this game that pros have been using. So if you double sprint and then slide around a corner, it's a pretty effective maneuver and can work pretty well in like search and destroy or something like that where you know somebody's around the corner. You double sprint, slide in, get the kill. That can work pretty effectively. And it's just another alternative to jump shotting and a more advanced play on the average slide. So the next thing, of course, is jump shotting. And this has been a thing forever and ever. And if you have a scuff controller, obviously it makes things a lot easier. And overall, having a scuff or a battle beaver or whatever, some type of advanced controller obviously helps. Of course, that's kind of a cop-out answer and a cop-out tip. But pros definitely talk about that all the time. In this game, jump shots are obviously still really effective. Around corners is definitely the best way to use them still. You have to give yourself a little bit of an advantage, come in at a different angle with those gunfights. At the end of the day in this game, though, the best movement that you can do around a corner is to pre-aim it and wait for them to come around the corner. This game is still extremely tactical. It's slower than most CODs in the past. There's definitely a big time balance between playing patiently and playing aggressive in those gunfights like that. So crouch shots are the next thing. They're still really effective. I mean, Black Ops 4, they were incredibly effective. Crouch shotting was fantastic in Black Ops 4, and it's still decent in this game as well. So crouch shotting is when you're behind cover and you go up and down, up and down, pressing crouch, pressing O or whatever, whatever your crouch button is, and crouching during a gunfight. It can also work if you're kind of caught in the open and you kind of just bounce up and down, especially with the headshot multiplier in this game. Sometimes if you keep your head moving a little bit more, it prevents them from being able to focus it on your head as much. So that is something to consider when gunfights like that. So drop shots are the other obvious movement that's in this game that is still pretty decent. It's not as good as like the Modern Warfare 2 days or whatever it is, the, the far back CODs, but it's definitely better than more of the recent CODs. Any of the recent CODs, drop shotting was basically useless, and especially in Black Ops 4, it was completely useless. But in this game, you can get down pretty quick. You can hip fire while going down. So it's actually decently effective. And laying on the ground basically reduces your recoil to like nothing in this game. You shoot lasers while laying on the ground so there definitely is an advantage to trying to get down and lay on the ground and beam them from there these are all different tools in the tool bag or weapons in the arsenal that you have when it comes to movement to switch things up and there's definitely a better moment for all these and it just takes time to utilize them in the right ways one thing that i have to at least talk about is limiting your double sprinting because this game even though double sprinting is really fun you move fast because you don't have dead silence all the time and dead silence doesn't completely eliminate all your footsteps double sprinting is really loud it's also really clunky because you can't get your gun up to shoot nearly as quick. Everyone dies to double sprinting. So if you get caught double sprinting with the time to kill in this game, you're absolutely screwed. So you have to limit the amount that you double sprint. Most pros would recommend that you only double sprint from like spawn or in places where you know there is nobody, especially in competitive settings where you definitely have a better idea of enemies positioning. So where guys are going to be on the map, like that's where you can double sprint in those situations where you're very confident that there's nobody in the area. Double sprinting in areas where there might be someone is extremely risky and basically asking to get killed so you really have to limit the double sprint in a lot of situations it's better just to post up on a heady and play slow and play patiently especially in search and destroy and of course you have to talk about practice how to get better at this there's really only one great answer when it comes to getting good at movement in this game and it's just to play a lot i think the easiest way to improve quickly is to get into a bot lobby and then just focus on your movement and get that muscle memory down when it comes to jump shots double sprinting then sliding and drop shotting and laying down and crouch shotting everything else that comes with the game the bot lobbies are probably the best way to go about this that's what you've been seeing most of this game is just kind of bot gameplay and showing you guys the movements so i can't emphasize that enough going into the lobbies with a purpose and trying to get better at the movements that's so so important 
and it's the best way to get better. And then you go into pubs matches, you go into competitively, you go into competitive matches. With that in mind, that muscle, mem that muscle memory in mind, it only can help you get better at the game. So I hope you guys enjoy the video to improve and move like a pro. Right now, this is the movement meta in the game. There's nothing else that the pros are doing besides what we talked about in the game right now. If anything changes, I'll definitely make an updated video about that. But as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out if you guys really enjoy it. I always do appreciate it, as I always say. But again, guys, I'm your boy, Sadie and we'll see you next time. I'm out.